gives me a chance to completely separate from from this job and still do something I love to do, stay involved in basketball, which I've played since I was a little kid. 242, I'm going to be 1045 at 27th and Broadway. Just saw this vehicle leaving a problem hotel, and he's failing to maintain single lane position. He swerved about seven times. I'm going to go ahead and pull him over. 47 in the back. We're going to be at 28th and Broadway now. And why are they stopping? Yeah, they're stopping. Hey. You have a driver's license on you? Uh, no, not at Okay. You, do you know the reason I pulled you over? No, ma'am. I followed you pretty much from 12th and Broadway, uh, and you did not maintain your lane position. You swerved over past the white line about seven times, which is indicative of somebody that's drinking and driving. Okay. okay? okay. So I just need to see your license and your insurance. If you don't have your license on you, that's fine. Are, if you're, are you suspended? Uh, I got some If fines. you are, just let me know. Yeah, I got some fines I need to back. Okay. Do you have insurance on the car? Uh, yeah. Whose car is this? This is my girlfriend's car. Hey, hey, let me see your hands. 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 Get out of the vehicle now. Two, 242, I believe I have a firearm in the glove box. I need somebody up here. Get back here now. Get back here now. Everybody keep your hands where I can see them. Put your hands on the car. Keep your hands on the car. Give me 33 till we get this situated, please. Get him cuffed for me, please, right here. Cuff him. I'm going to get that gun out of the glove box right now. Keep your hands where I can see him. Well, when I pulled him over, the passenger was looking for insurance, and I saw this in the glove box, so... You want to just go ahead and hang on to that? It's okay. loaded, I believe. All right, I'm going to put it in the back of our car. Driver, step out for me, please. Keep your hands where I can see him. Come back to my voice. Nickel, can you cuff him? Get your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Sit down right there. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to the driver real quick. So, what's, ha what's happened? When your your friend was looking for insurance in the uh, glove box, there was a gun in there. So I, I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't know that. You haven't had any idea that that was in there? That gun was in there? No, I, no, no, I haven't. It, it, it hasn't been in there since my girlfriend gave it to me. Okay, so who do you think put that in there? I'm, I'm not sure. That's why I'm trying to find out Who's right now. Who's your friend up in the front seat? Do you know him very well? Yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Do you think he could? that could have been his? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't want you to get hemmed up on it if it ain't if it isn't yours. Right. Okay? So if you have any idea at all who stuck it in there, I need to know. Okay? All right. All right. Get your leg in there. Who's got the pa You have the passenger. I have the passenger. He invoked. He invoked. Yeah. All right. Just the driver. He invoked also. The driver says it, it's his girlfriend's car, which he gave me the name of who it's registered to. Mm -hmm. He said he's had it since noon today, the car. He hasn't looked in the glove box. He didn't know the gun was in there. But he's in care and custody. But he's in care and custody of the car. Yeah. So... That shit is nine things over. That's, I, I told him, I said, you really need to think. So I'm going to let him think about it for a minute. I'm going to go talk to him some more. Okay. Here's the deal. Okay. Have you come up with who's, whose gun that is? What, what is my partner saying? He's not saying anything. He ain't saying nothing? Nope. He's not helping us out. You got to go talk to him. I mean, because it's not my he fault. He won't talk to us. Can you go tell him that if, if don't nobody come up with nothing, it's going down and me and my girl now. All right, hang tight. Here's the deal. Under Miranda, it was the front seat passenger who had the gun. From, from who, our witness here? From our witness here. She was sitting in the front seat in the in middle. The middle. Uh -huh. And who whenever, was in the front seat? 
who sure Hoyt has. Was. Okay. Hoyt has him, and he's been Mirandized. And uh, hook get him, him. Hook him back up. What's his name, Hoyt? Is uh, it Sharon? No. Okay. You didn't think I'd find that blunt you stashed back there? Huh? You don't know anything I'm talking about there? No. No, not the blunt right by where your feet were at? No. All right. Well. So what's up? The marijuana rolled up in a cigar wrapper. Okay. Uh, I just need for you to tell me again, basically what you told Officer Whiteman about the about the weapon, just so I make sure I get it all straight. Oh, uh, well. Okay. When you, as best you can. When you turned on the lights, he just took the gun out of his right pocket and put it in the thing. The the guy that was sitting the in the department. Yeah. The guy that was sitting right beside you on the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you know he had it? Mm -hmm. Until then. Until like you got behind us. Did he say anything to the driver when I pulled out behind you guys when you pulled out of the hotel? Did he say anything uh, to him about mm -hmm. driving? Oh yeah. Like. What, be cool, like, don't do nothing to mess up or anything like okay. that. Okay. Okay, I just want to make sure I had it straight. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the deal. You got, uh, must have some sort of guardian angel watching over you. Because your, your friend, the girl in the front seat, told us the truth, that it wasn't your gun. Your buddy over there, who you said is a good friend of yours, must not be too good of a friend because it was his. Okay? So you're not going for the gun. Okay? But right now, you're good to go. And I appreciate you being so cooperative with me. I really do. It makes my job a lot easier. But your your pal, he, he's not, he must not be that good of a pal because he's about ready to take you for a ride. So I guess you know maybe you need to pick some other friends. But that girl, I don't know how well you know her, but she saved you. She saved you. We've received a call of public intoxication. Apparently, a female got an altercation with family members, possibly assaulted someone with a knife, threw a knife. They're not describing any injuries at this time or basically declining medical aid. Uh, she's apparently walking with a nine year old. So, right now, just try to locate her and then go and contact family members, find out what happened. 35, show me out with one. Trava? Yes, sir. Do me a favor. Put your hands on my hood. What's going on? Okay. Okay, I went down to... Relax, relax. Okay. I went down to zero net five. People get my laundry I've been doing. And my stepdad went to a drug class. Okay, he goes to AA. Keep your hands on... Okay, keep your hands on my hood. And I... What happened? Uh, I, what, what, are you, where, where are you at? Where, where are you at? 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 Where are there. So Henry could take you to the hospital. I sat there for an hour waiting for him to call. He never came. He never came. Put your hands behind your back for me. I'm just going to handcuff you for right now. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained. I appreciate it because it's just, I've been to jail for him before. For who? My stepdad. When I was five months pregnant, I beat the out of him with a broom because he slammed my son in the door. My 17-year-old just came home today from a foster home because he threw a shovel across the yard and cut half his ear off and my mom sewed it on. All this happened today. Your they mom go, sewed on his ear? Yes, my mother sewed it and they took my son to a foster home. He okay. just got released today. Just have a seat for right now. Okay. You know, uh, for him to call me. It's on the right side. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't be on the phone for two hours trying to get to a hospital. If I don't go to jail, will you take me to the hospital? If you need medical care, I can get you medical care over here. I need medical okay. care. I've been trying for but, two hours. Listen to me. We're going to go back to the house and find out if someone else needs medical care there. No, All right? no nobody needs no medical care there. You sure? I'm sure. He's no a, one got he's cut? illegal immigration. Did anybody get cut? What did you throw at him? I don't, honestly, I, I, just, I don't know. I just picked something up and threw it. It didn't even hit him. But for him to call me a beggar, I'm not a beggar. I own my own trailer right here on the corner. I live with 
505 I paid $1,500 On that corner on Alexander and Sauter. I paid $1,500 cash and I paid her in food stamps. And I was said I didn't pay her nothing, but I got a pink slip. If I don't pay for it, I got a pink slip. Okay, and so he, what? He's a caller. No good. Illegal. I call immigration once a month. Man, if I could, I'd kill him. All right. Go. All right. Thank you. Came here, mm -hmm. out of the sky, she picked up this and threw it at me. Oh, so she did cut you? Yes. Okay. And this is exactly yeah. what she threw at yeah, you? Yeah, she just picked it up, and I have uh, two witnesses that seen it. Okay. Yeah. You want charges placed on Yes, her? I want charges. She's okay. done it. She, I left here, you know, to get away from her. I came back, she was still here, and she started begging, you know. And then all of a sudden she said she was bitten by a spider. And I said, well, what do we want us to do? And she wants us to take a... She even brought her mother out of bed. Okay. I She's on medication. I down the street, but I knew she was going. And the man here doesn't Has she know, been using today? I think so. She's on something. You know, she went to these people I over haven't here. Lived, she's 33. I haven't lived She went lived to these with people. These people went home. She went Probably in. Probably four and, years. Uh, I took her in four years her, ago, her and stuff, then I you evicted know? her off my I've property. been here before on the property. Well, they're, they're even willing to say their side, you know. Okay. Well, and Bob Bob them. just can't walk. He said they'll have to come in and talk but, to him. No, that's fine. I've talked to him before. This has gone too far, you know. Okay. It's a small cut, but... I'm going to go in and talk to Bob. Okay. All right. Well, did this happen inside the house? Yeah. It went right by So this is part of... This is part of Bob's... Silverware. Kitchen utensils, silverware? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, and it okay. went right by Bob's head, just missed Bob, and went straight for him, and he held his hand up to stop okay. it. Let's go talk to Bob real quick. Because he said he wasn't going to put up with it anymore. And I left my house in my pajamas and came go over, over here. Go ahead. Quit. Go ahead. Is Bob in the back room? He's right here. He's right here. He just What's trouble. going on, Bob? Remember me? The last time when they came in through the window? What happened? She admitted to everything except for she denies the gun. Okay. She admitted yeah, I, I talked to her already. She told me that she, she took some change from me. And she broke all the glass mirrors. Yeah, she said she was upset talking to her boyfriend. So, Okay, but reference tonight, what did you see? She, uh, she started going uh, crazy. I, I think she's got uh, class because she's got sores all over the lower body. Sores? Sores. She took her pants down and showed him big sores. Uh, they look like spider didn't... bites or just sores? Well, she said they were spider yeah, bites, but he clear. doesn't know. Okay. But says, did you see her pick up one of your, I guess it's your kitchen knife? One of your little butter knives? It was over there in that table. It was on that table. It was on that table? Yeah, and it was right here. Where were you standing? Right here. Right here. Right here. Just like and Bob was right where he is right now. Okay. And it went right by Bob's head. She was fine uh, uh, earlier. And all of a sudden, she, she was going crazy, you know, take us, me to the hospital and that over a spider, you know. And I took her down to the gas station and get, bought her cigarettes the other day, and I, I try not to do... I mean, she owes me like $6,000 over the last years, and I bought her a pack of cigarettes just to make her leave me alone. Okay. But I've been <laughs> I've been busy all, right. all day. Just to make sure you do want, want charges for yes, the assault tonight? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I, I, and Bob... I, you want the, you want the charges for the last time she broke in here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me go talk yeah, to her no, one more time. She, uh, she thinks this is over, so she thinks she's doing it again. It's okay. incredible. All right. Yeah. You sure you don't want medical? No, I'm fine. I just wanted to uh, put just, away. Okay. All right. If nothing else, she be. Uh, I'll be back to talk to you guys in a little bit. Put in the mental center. Tonight she gets in an argument with a uh, stepdad, and with mom. Apparently, she wants somebody to take her to the hospital. No one was willing to. She picks up a butter knife and threw it at dad, ended up cutting his hand. So she'll be arrested for uh, assault with a deadly weapon tonight, even though it's a minor cut. There have been times where police officers have come on the radio and, and, and yelling for help and you know that you know this is bad and uh, that, that feeling that you get coming out of your radio is, is very similar to the, to the feeling that you get as a parent when one of your children uh, gets hurt or is, you know, calling for help. It's, it's that same kind of bond. Right now we're responding for a report of a male white spray painting the side of a building. He's uh, vandalizing the uh, property. Um, we'll see what we got when we get there. Two male whites right there. Let's grab them. What's going on, guy? Okay. 
That ain't gang related. What? What are you pointing at? You have paint on your fingers, sir. Yeah. There's black paint on this I'm wall. I'm an artist. This isn't a. This isn't an art school here. Well, I'm not saying that I painted that. <laughs> There's black paint on the wall, and you have black paint on your fingers. I mean, I don't have any spray painter or nothing like that. 4321. Can you give me the description one more time? Hey, you have pale white and blue. You must be just short. Stand up it's nothing I can prove in court, but there's no doubt in my mind that you're tagging these buildings, all right? I can't call the back yet. I'd like somebody to come over and ruin this, anything, something that you own. You think people want to see this stuff on the side of walls? Maybe they need to see it. Yeah, well, you don't own the building, don't deface it, all right? You want to paint on something, paint on something that's, that belongs to you. Keep that in mind. Well, I wish you would. Sir. You got a point, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where do you stand? I am an American citizen. That's where I stand. You know what? Love my country. Love where I live. It's a good time to be alive. You've been painting something else tonight? Is that why your fingers are black? No. How'd your fingers get black? Because I painted the wall, sir. You painted this wall, didn't you? Yes, sir. Why I would you do that? I it again. For artistic value, really, honestly. No other reason. I mean, what, what, are you, what are you trying to express? I mean, just explain yeah, I, it to us. Okay. If you read it, it says, now I've got a vision I want to see it through. What, what's your vision? What is your vision? I just want to say what I want to say. I want to express my freedom of speech. I want to, okay. you know... Uh, you know, so, there, there's nothing wrong with expressing your freedom of speech and everything else. Nothing wrong Except if I got to pay money to, you know, get on the billboard or get it on TV, but, which is on But on other people's property, you see the problem with it? I mean, really, I mean, your parents' house, what if somebody came over and rode all over it? it would I'd help them paint over it, but I wouldn't I mean, be stressed. I really wouldn't be stressed. That's you think answer. they would be? Maybe, but... I mean, how do you think they would feel? They might feel uh, salty about it, but... It I mean, it would cost them money. Money is not the object here. Well, Money's the problem. Money's the problem. We live our lives in pursuit of money, and that is a problem, yes. All right. Well, it's definitely going to cost whoever owns this building money to get rid of this black paint on the side it of the wall. It can easily be painted over with white paint. You think? Yes. I hope I, you're right. I honestly Are you going to buy true. the paint to paint over it? I got the paint to paint over it. Obviously, I got the paint to paint it. I got the paint to paint right. over it. I'll do it anytime. Well, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. You can pay it through probation. Can I just pay it through uh, spray painting it over in a clear white? That'll be up to the judge, bud. Do you work or go to school or what? I am about to get a job, sir. I do not work currently. I go to school at University of Cincinnati. You go to school at the University of Cincinnati? Yes, I do, sir. Uh, this is the kind of conduct that they teach you? No, in this university? is not the kind of conduct they teach. This is the kind of conduct they do on your own. Let's go. You're considered an adult in the state of Ohio once you're 18. You're a grown man, sir. All right? And grown men don't go around painting things. I have a Some do. I have a two-year-old daughter who uses chalk to mark on the side of the building. Yeah, but she's a child. Yeah. But uh, not only two-year-old children do it, sir. All right. As you can see them this evening. But right now, you're under arrest for criminal damaging. Yes, sir, I am. You're going to go to court, and uh, I'm sure the judge will have you pay whatever it costs to get all this paint off the sidewalk and the walls, OK? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a judge will have him come out. And That'd be nice to get him out here and scrub the sidewalks. Yeah. Put him on the uh, the graffiti detail. We'll put him <laughs> on the city graffiti detail. He can go down and over the Rhine and wash all the graffiti off the the walls down there. And that'd be a that'd be a good uh, punishment. It, that'd be a good learning experience for him, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. It's Tyler, right? My name is Tyler, yes. Tyler, you know what you're being charged with? Um, uh, defamation of property or something along those lines. Uh, you're actually being charged with criminal damaging. Criminal damaging. Criminal yeah. damaging. It's a misdemeanor. Yes, sir. Uh, basically, you defaced the side of this building, yes, which is owned by uh, someone. Privately, yes. Uh, owned by someone's privately. There's also some spray paint on the sidewalk, which is owned by the city. Yes, sir. 
if you want to say something, say it loud and say it proud, but you, you can't deface other people's property, all right? Indeed, sir. Eight to ten years, and I also play on a men's team, so I enjoy doing that and getting out, getting that exercise helps me stay fit for this job. We just got a traffic officer that's in pursuit of a motorcycle and uh, we're right down the block from it so we're gonna go uh, help and see if we can get him. Sounds like he's uh, running blacked out about a hundred miles an hour or more and uh, turns his lights on and off so we're gonna go back up and try to help assist the traffic officer. Getting onto the freeway here. Other officers are right behind him. Continuing up to the 210 now, and I think you may have gotten on the freeway so far on the end. Okay. 10 more plus, we got on the 210 flight. Okay. That's the number one spot out, came back, going uh, eastbound on the west side off ramp right now. Let me take a catch my breath, please. I'm waiting. Look, I'll tell you, my, my suspended. I got suspended my seat. Okay. And I'm just trying to get home, man. Okay. Well, you're not going to make it home today. I guess not. It's just closed, that's all. He's got a suspended license, so he wanted to get home. I was just trying to get home. So. You have a suspended license, so you run from the police. I was scared, sir, you know? Okay, well, you went head on with me down there. Well, you went head on with me. Don't grab me over. I didn't try to run over there. So you tried to kill two officers? Is that oh, what you're trying I, to I, say? I, I, take, I was just trying to get home. I'm sorry. So if you would have stopped, you would have got a ticket, and you would have called for a ride. But no, you're going to run, crash into police cars. I didn't crash no police cars. Yeah, car. you did. No, sir. There's damage on that car that you ran into. I did not run into no car. I did not run into your car, sir. Who did? Your friend in your backpack or what? Hey, I didn't run into nobody. Okay. What's your name? My name is Adam. Adam, how many times have you run from the police, Adam, and got away? Because this ain't the first time. Why do you say that? Because I know. What happened here? Nothing, How'd you end sir. up right here? I didn't, I didn't want to run no more, so I was pulling over. No, you weren't. Well, I, I was trying to dodge a police car. You guys are trying to hit me. No, we weren't. We we're Come trying to catch now. up to you. Come on now. You were facing the no, wrong no, no, way. No. On, you were facing the wrong way on the on ramp, and I came down and you started taking off again. No, I did. So don't sir. sit there and tell me that you were not gonna go take off again and try to ditch us over here. If you wanted to stop, you would have stopped way back there. Have a seat. How old are you? How old are you? Hey. 
How old are you? 21. Sir. 21? Ever been arrested? Yes. Sir. You on parole or probation? No, nothing. What? Nothing, sir. Nothing? So you've never run from the police before, is what you're saying? Yes, sir. You I'm, have? I'm clean. No, okay. I haven't. Man. Oh, okay. So you haven't run from the police before? Never in my life. So why this time? Just because you have a suspended license? Yeah, because I, you know what? Not, Whose bike is it? It's mine. Run, run it. It's mine. Okay. We have no damage and we have no TC. Um, let's just take some uh, good photos of everything. Um, does he have any injuries? Uh, falling no. down and... I saw him when I came in. He was starting to head towards us. He flipped around, spun it, lost it right here, picked it back up. And then he kind of went forward a little bit, clipped just the edge of his car and fell. I think you were stopped. He tried to go around you because I thought you thought I was going to come around you. So you had stopped. And then he dumped it here and then Mark blocked him in. So. All right. Just uh, just cut stuff for what you guys uh, did and saw. Um, let's tow this thing out of here and uh, get him on his way to jail. And, uh, we're good, good job, here. Right, Thank yeah. you. Great I'll job. start typing the stuff up. You know, man, you could have got killed. You know that, right? Was it worth it? 23, uh, you would have got a ticket, like right? And went home. Went back home, saw your Number girlfriend, man, puppy. and realized, yeah, hey, I screwed up. And then you go get your motorcycle license fixed and you get your bike out tomorrow. Right? That's how things would have went down had you stopped. Well, hopefully we all learned something from this, right? You made a poor judgment and unfortunately you're driving 120 miles an hour on a city street at nighttime in the dark and you're lucky you didn't hit one of these construction signs and crash or you didn't run into me because you came at me head on. You know you're going to jail tonight for a felony evading. You understand that? Yes. All right. My wife is employed by the sheriff's office. She works at our county detention center. Um, so we kind of understand each other, you know, what it's like to do the job, what it takes to do the job, and that sometimes you just don't want to push issues and you just kind of leave them alone and, and uh, let them have a little peace and quiet to recuperate. We're going to go ahead and stop this car up here because he crossed the double yellow uh, center line and uh, drove into oncoming traffic. We're going to pull him over and see what's going on. Two forty two ten fifty five twenty and Blake. Yeah, boy. Hello, how you doing? Hello. Just stopping when you cross the the road back there, you cross the double yellow to go I guess you were trying to go around the pothole maybe or something? Okay, I'll just make sure you ain't been drinking tonight. Oh, no. I'm trying to find my life. You got an ID on you, boss? No. If everything's good, you'll be out here. Well, you know, I'm not going to write you nothing for that. I'm just making sure you ain't been drinking. Okay, let me ask you this. Since I'm smelling weed in the car, who's been smoking weed in the car? And how long ago were they smoking weed in the car? You know, been smoking no weed in the car. I, I smell, smell cigarettes. I smell weed in the car. Or weed on somebody. Who's been smoking? Be up front with me right now, because if you smoked it, I can't take you to jail. I smoked the joint Huh? I smoked a joint earlier. You smoked a joint earlier? Okay, that's what I'm smelling it. Let me have your ID. You ain't got none on you now, right? Uh-uh. Sit tight for me. Step out of the car for me. Okay, here's, here's the deal, okay? Because of the fact I smell marijuana coming out, I searched the car, okay? I'm gonna ask you one last time, you got any on you? Uh -uh. Okay. That was early before we had left for where we was at. Okay, how much did you smoke, just a joint or yeah, what? It was, it was just a joint. Okay, and you don't have nothing in your pockets, right? Uh-uh, nothing but money. Around, turn around, put your hands on the car for me. Yeah, you got money falling out. What's hanging out your pocket, you was fixing to lose it. 313-315-1013. Well, you flinching your butt. Grab right. your feet. Spread them wider. On, uh, US in front Spread of, them uh, wider. Medical Center. Tango Kilo X-ray. Tango Kilo X-ray on a uh, on one occupant. You're hiding something in your pants. Devil. Okay. So, the poor out so here's the deal. Okay. Devil. Lean up against the car right now. You want to try this again? What are you talking about? 
it's it's pretty 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 kind of odd here that uh, for some reason you're all kind of tensed up for no reason. Man, I got weed in my butt. You got weed in your butt. All right. Put your hands behind your back. Stay in the car, ma'am. How much weed you got in your butt, man? Nothing but a bag. Where's it at? Let me get it. Yeah, get it. Put it on the car. What else you got? Anything? No. Nope. Be up front with me. I'm being straight up with you. That was it. All right. 242. Good. You know that dope was in his butt? Other and you couldn't smell it in the car? Come on, girl. I smoke cigarettes, so of course it's going to have to smell it. No, 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 no. There's a, there's a large difference between the smell of cigarette and marijuana. When you smell as much pot as I have over the years, I can smell it all day long over a cigarette. It's a very strong, pungent odor. Pretty feet. What are you still tensing for? What you got going on? man, you squeeze, you feel it on my butt. You got more dope up there, man. Don't lie to me. Man. Give me the cocaine. What cocaine? Probably what? the cocaine you got tucked in your butt. Man, I don't man, even much. You can stick your hand in my butt. Go ahead. Okay, well, right. I'm fixing to take you to county jail and they can strip search you. So what's the deal? Oh my huh? Man. What? Because they're going to strip search you when you get up there, okay? So do you want the one felony charge or do you want the two felony charges? Uh, what's up? You want the one or the two? I got dope on me, man. Huh? I got dope on me, man. I know you do. Where's it at? Get, spit it out. Get it out. It's either the one felony or the two felony. Step over there. Nice. All right, here's the deal, okay? I admire your honesty because you know I had you dead to rights, right? It's not my first dog and pony show. I'm gonna do as I said. I'm only gonna charge you with the misdemeanor possession of less than 20 pot, and I'm only gonna charge you with the possession. I'm not gonna charge you with the intent to sell. Feel me? That way it's better for you now that you've fessed up and you don't have the cocaine charge carrying, which is introduction of contraband into the to a detention center. You don't have with intent to sell, feel me? So I am cutting you some slack, okay? Believe it or not. Is any of this sinking in? You think I've been fair with you tonight? You think I've been fair with him? Good. Not taking him to jail and charging him with like two or three more felonies. Have you learned anything tonight? Am I going to see you out here again involved in this mess? Okay. All right. I hope for your sake you don't. All right. So get out of here and get home. Get home to your baby. We're patrolling around the uh, western side of Hamilton County in the Ohio Valley. We're uh, being dispatched to one of the local mobile home parks. We want to meet a lady here. Apparently she's having some domestic troubles with her fiance or ex-fiance and uh, she wants him removed to the re from the residence. So we're going to uh, meet her up here and uh, find out what's going on. Well, what's going on? I had hit a curb the other day, and it shifted the belt to my tire. Uh -huh. well, he asked me not to go nowhere, okay? Well, my friend today, I didn't want her driving on suspended license or tag. So I told her I would take her up to Harrison. Well, on mm -hmm. the way back, we got a flat, Yeah. okay? It, where the belts were shifted, it cut my tire. Oh, yeah. Okay, and... um. I, I called him when he got off of school to let him know what happened, and it sure. started then. You know, I'm, I'm immature, I'm a crackhead, uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm irresponsible. Not a crackhead, though, are you? 
No. Okay. Well, why should I call you that? I have to, but I'm yeah. not a crackhead. Okay, okay. And I'm tired of his verbal abuse. Well, why you stay with him? I'm always stupid. I'm always dumb. What do you put up with it for? Because we've been together 13 years, and 13. I thought it would get, get different. I thought yeah. it would get different. Are you guys married or just engaged? Well, we, we've been together 13 years, so I, we both have wedding bands. Ah, uh, okay. So you're just and, living as husband and wife then. And he was going to get me for abandoning my trailer, and I was just going to go stay with my mom for a few days. Okay, where's he go to school at? At uh, Southwestern College. Okay. So he's, uh, what, what's he in school for? Medical assistant Medical. slash phlebotomy. And towards the end Burger of his graduation, he will be a surgical technician. Okay. All right. He was going to get us up out of this trailer park, but I'm tired of the very but I always uh -huh. got to put up with him. It's not fair no. to me. Okay. What's his name? Robert. Robert, come on over here. Are you going to tell me something that I already know? I'm, I'm not going to tell you something you already know. I'm just going to ask you why. Do you love this lady? Um, yeah, probably at one time I did, yeah. You did? You yeah. don't love her anymore? I'm falling out slowly, yeah. Okay. Well, what are we going to do to work it out between you all? You guys got 13 years miles. together. That's a start. Okay. That's a start. Well, what I'm trying to do is, is get you all to get back together or, or try to work out your problems or something like that. Sir, Mr. Williams, it's 13 years, okay? 13, 13 years. That's a long time that's to be tossing time. it down the and drain. Not being married. We ain't yeah. married. Yeah. Okay, we've been living together for 13 years. Yeah. We verbally abuse each other, mm -hmm. okay? And once, maybe twice, we have physically abused each other. Yeah. That's twice out of 13 years. Well, and, and, and that kind of stuff happens sometimes. But I'm going to let you know, though, you cannot make poor judgment, poor decisions, mm -hmm. okay? I'm trying to better us. You see, you know? Oh, no, yeah, I see that. Us. I see that. Ain't nobody else in this trailer park got this uniform hey, on. You know what? And, and nobody's going to downplay you for that. You've done your fair share to uh, become a better I'm, man. And I'm trying to do that, sir. But this lady here loves you. Look, she's yeah, crying. She, okay. she is upset. I Give know, her a hug or something, man. She, I, 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 this I lady this, loves you. I go through this a lot. I, I, I know. Well, she loves you. I know that, and I love her. Okay. That's a 50-50 deal. Then, then, let, then the let's do this. Let's do this. Do you think you guys can work this out? Without all the restraining orders or, or tossing each other around or, well, it, it, or there's throwing no things. There's going to be needed because this is my address. It's on my ID card. And it's I your live. address and right. her address. That's and right. That's why I want to make sure you both get back in here tonight and, and you can make up or, or just steer clear of each other and, and work this out. You need to realize he's got a lot of pressure on I him right now. I don't understand that, okay. but an another thing that is upsetting me really bad right now, yeah. we were official foster parents, and because uh -huh. I made a decision to drive my car today, uh -huh. he's then called the foster people and told them, we don't want a child. Okay. He's done canceled everything right. out because uh -huh. I made, to him, I made a stupid well, decision it's today. Yeah. So it's not that we didn't want a child. If yeah. what, I, what I told the lady is that I felt at this time yeah. that bringing a child here wouldn't be a pro wouldn't be good at this time. Well, that's exactly and, and, what I and, said. and by seeing what's going on here, okay, I respect that decision. All right, that's He's just trying to do this to better okay. both of your lives, and and maybe having a kid come into your home right now is. Probably not the best thing for you, okay? But is that right for him to go around to all my neighbors that were sitting out here earlier? He, John, my, my neighbor was going to help me change my tire. Yeah. He, he made him not change it. He made me change it okay. myself because oh, yeah. he said I made a stupid decision today. It was her decision to take off mm -hmm. after I told her not to. Mm -hmm. She wants to be an adult, be responsible. And change that time. Oh, I can understand that, <laughs> but, but that you change it. Yes, I You learn how to do it, or you know how to do it. I know how to do okay. it. Okay. Here's the deal. Y'all start arguing, oh. start name calling. One of you get up and go next time, so it doesn't escalate to anything oh, okay. worse. And okay? that's what I usually do. Good deal. All right. And 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 keep doing that. Okay. Can you all make up? Tell each other you're sorry. Something like that. Give the man a hug. There you go. See. See. All right. But uh. Maybe let her go over mom's tonight, and you guys can work this out tomorrow. Yeah. All, right? all right? Okay, all right. Well, why don't you go ahead Thank and go? You, sir. You're very welcome. Good luck to you. Hey, good luck. I hope you graduate, all right? I'm going to graduate. All right, good deal. Well, hopefully this will be resolved. You guys will work right. it out tomorrow. She's and not a bad person. No. Nah. I understand the stress thing. It's, it's no big deal. It happens to everybody. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, so... Good luck to you, okay? Yeah, All right. I hope things work out for you. Thanks a lot. Man. All right. Ma'am, take care. Drive safe, all right? You sure that wheel's on there okay? Uh, yeah. Take some back roads. If not, see if you can go get the one in the back fixed. All right? All right. Okay. Be careful. Thank you, officer.
You're welcome. Now this couple loves each other. They're just trying to uh, work things out, try to stay together and try to get through the hard times. But uh, she's visibly upset and he's consoling her right now. Sometimes we get called to domestic situations when we arrest people, but. Fastest growing area in the Inland Empire uh, as far as uh, residential areas being built. We, they're building beautiful homes all over the area. Now we've got a sergeant in pursuit on the 210. We're going to kind of wait for him to come by. We're going to see which way this guy goes. Uh, try and catch up to him. Uh, we are exiting Sierra. 11, that's a firm. Okay, looks like this here's our guy that he's going to be chasing. And here we go. Um, it's unknown at this time what he's, uh, the subject's being pursued for. The subject's obviously not willing to stop. If he came from Colton, Colton's about 20, mi 20 miles actually maybe about 10 miles east of this city. So he's obviously been pursued for quite some time right now. Uh, one of our sergeants picked up the primary position in the uh, pursuit. Our canines also went in with us as well. Uh, we're we're going to let canine try and get, uh, get up in the front in case the uh, suspect uh, decides to take off running. Usually the canine's very effective. Once they hear that dog bark and they know that there's no hope for them. It's a hard street to be going too fast on with all these major dips. Where are they at? Stop resisting. Give us your hand. Give us your hand. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. Don't move. One outstanding, Sarge. Stop moving. Please. We still got one outstanding at this time. Please. I give up. Yeah, they're taking him into custody. We're going to be setting up a perimeter. We've got one more outstanding. Where's he at? Right there. Hey, where's the, where's the house that they that he brought down to? You know? One right behind. It should be the second or third house. Let's go, let's go, let's go. go. All right, I give up. Do you know where the house I is that they broke into? Just one this right here? Right yeah. This is obviously our driver right now. Oh. Oh, I got a, I got a plate. Yeah, What's your name, man? Taxi. Hey, hold on a second. Sit down. Hey, switch out these clubs right here with you. For the Fontana officer, you just got back. I don't think I'm You do? No. Hey. Hey. He's not talking very much. Looks like he's almost about to pass out from running. Uh, we're going to go talk to the uh, first suspect that we caught, see if maybe he wants to tell us what's going on, and uh, see if we can figure out why they're running, because right now we don't... It's unknown. What's going on? Uh... I don't know what's going on, man. All I want to do is go home to my child and my wife, man. Why are you guys running from the police, though? I wasn't running. He was driving. I don't know. Well, was he saying anything to you or what? He are telling me to get the back, leave the car alone, because he kept... What do you mean, leave the car alone? Because I was trying, with the, the stick, trying to get him to stop, and he wouldn't stop. Okay. He paid me gas money to drop him off somewhere. So how'd you end up in the passenger seat if you're dropping him off? Because he told me to get over. He told me to get the or I'm gonna beat you up. Get the in the back or I'm gonna you up. And that's a big dude. Look how small I am. I ain't trying to get up by no dude like that. But he can't run. He probably could have ran from him. Right? Dude, well, let me get out the car. 
Well, how'd you switch seats if you didn't get out of the car? I know you didn't slide over him. He's nah, too big. nah, he threw me in the back seat. Oh, okay. So that's actually your car. It's my girlfriend's car. It's your girlfriend's car. Does your girlfriend know that you're driving it and you guys are involved in a high-speed pursuit? Uh, not that. I don't think she knows that part. But she knew you were driving it, so we're going to yeah. call her up and she's going to say, yeah, my you, my boyfriend's allowed to have the car. Nah, she ain't going to say that. She's not. So she, that car's probably stolen. It probably is. It probably is. Yeah. Did he know that the car was stolen? You know what? I don't know if he knew or not. So then why was he running? I, you know, I have no idea. I don't know why that fool got hysterical like that. I don't know what's going on with somebody else's mind. But me, I was going to pull over when you turned the lights on me. What's going on in your mind when you pick up somebody you don't know and then you steal your girlfriend's car? Nah, he was going to give me gas money. I needed gas. <laughs> okay, man. That uh, makes no sense. But if it that's the way... It, well, if you ask her, she'll tell you the same thing. I give people rides for gas, man. Oh, uh, okay. I don't, I don't really believe your story, man. We found out from uh, Colton Police Department that they've been having a lot of robberies all over the city, subjects with uh, what they thought was their real hair, it could, but people were also thinking that it could have been wigs and other things. They're uh, searching the suspect vehicle. Apparently they're finding a bunch of evidence, uh, wigs, sunglasses, fake guns. They may be two suspects wanted for robberies all over town. This is a, uh, it's a plastic, I mean, it looks real. You can obviously tell that, well, maybe it's been spray painted towards the end. It's, a, it's fake, you know. Uh, so who knows what else they've been doing around town, robbing people, making their lives miserable. So this is actually a really good arrest. It turned out to be something really good. I see my new baby, my wife, and it's, it's, it's a whole new meaning now after, after I guess you have a family. and it's, it's a good feeling. I think that's what keeps every officer out here on their toes and, and, and staying straight out here is because they have a family. You can get hurt very, very bad out here if you don't stay on your toes. And our families and our friends and other co-workers that we work with keep us coming, keep us coming back to work and keep us going home. And that's, that's a real key part of law enforcement. Um, right now we're just got dispatched to a domestic violence between a man, a male and a female. Evidently the uh, husband or boyfriend in reference to this uh, relationship, is calling in saying that his his lady friend has been hitting him and slapping him. Uh, so uh, he's parked. He's going to be parked outside the uh, trailer park up here. We're going to get his side of the story and see if uh, we're going to have anything to arrest her on. There he is. Or actually, both of them. Hi. Please get my car. No, step over here. We're going to talk first. Okay. How old are your kids? Two and three. Two and three? Yeah. Okay, they'll be fine for just a second. Okay, so step away. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Now, what's the problem? <laughs> he got mad because we were at the drive-in, and I called my friend while he was in the restroom or something. Sir, I want you to stand over there on the curb, okay? You can stay out of the sprinklers, but just stay over there. Go and ahead. he got mad at me for doing it, so <laughs> he, like, wanted to leave. And this is my car. He has my keys. We're not even married. So. How long have you been together? We were married for five years and then got divorced last year. Okay. So. All right. Go ahead. And? But, but these are our kids. And what happened? And so he wanted to leave, and I said, no, give me my keys. Point, and out. he wouldn't give me my keys, and that's when he hit me. Okay, where'd he hit you? Like right here in the face. Okay. He's slapped me, pinched me, scratched me. Okay. So I don't know what the that he's telling you, I'm sorry, my French, this uh -huh. stuff he's telling you that I hit him was... Don't, we need that. Was, <laughs> what is that? That's your hair. Are you kidding me? No. Hold on to that for me. Okay. He's actually going ready to go to court this week for this crap. Okay. So. If you could do me one favor, I don't want you messing with your nose, because your nose is bleeding a little bit over <laughs> right here, okay? So just don't touch it, because I'll need to photograph that, okay? So just hang tight for me and calm down. Can you uh, explain more how she got the uh, cut on her nose? It's from her glasses. Probably from me holding her back. What what happened? To, I mean, why why did you have your hand up there? I had my hand. Oh, I was trying to drive, and she was grabbing the wheel. I was trying to keep from wrecking. I was I was trying to find a place because there's no place from the exit of Star Drive or Starview to to here until here, so I can pull over. Because I was going to pull over, and I was going to get out and walk until she decided to hit me and grab the wheel. Okay. And she was, she was, she tried to bite me. How do, how do you, 
Can you explain why the hair, the wire hair is coming out? I have no idea, to be quite honest with you. Didn't grab her by the hair? You didn't no, know? I did not. In the scruffle, some hair may have fallen out because I was trying to hold her back. You got to understand that we get different stories every mm -hmm. time we come out on a call. Okay, yeah. we're gonna have one side and the other side. Yeah. She's got a cut to her nose from her glasses and pulled out hair, and you have very minor redness on yeah, your leg. I know. Because Where'd she, she try and bite you at? She tried to bite me on the arm, but I, I had her. Up. I don't. I don't. She. I don't think she got any. I don't think she got anything. Okay. So she punched you in the face. She hit me right here. In the right side of your face. Right. Right there. Okay. And she hit me here. And she hit me a couple other places, but I don't, and probably in the arm, because she was pissed off because... Right. How did she punch you in the right side of the face if you're driving? Just, just, did she just reach she across? She just reached across with her right hand and come like that. Okay, then how'd she get your left leg? Like that, from, a, from across. Okay. All right, man, hang tight. Okay. What'd he say? So what he told me was when they left the theater, she got upset and tried taking the keys, uh, started basically wailing on him, hitting on hitting on him in the process of that. Uh, he told me that trying to defend himself, he reached over and tried pushing her off um, to keep her away from him so he could focus on driving. Um, and he thinks that's how she got the injury to her nose from the glasses and the hair um, being pulled out. Go ahead and go over and tell him he's under arrest. Take him over to the car so we don't do it in front of the kids. Okay. Put him, up, put him in the back of the car. Just we need to stand up and walk over to the car with me real quick. Domestic violence battery because of the injuries your ex-girlfriend has on her. You guys have been through this before, man. You know how it works. She's got she's got the visibles and you don't. Okay. But what does that have anything to do with it? I don't know how she got it. She may have gotten it from the stop. That's, that's, uh, that's what the law is. That's a, Doesn't mean you're being found guilty anywhere. It just means that we're going to no, arrest that, you for but it. Yeah, but that's a crime. You got two kids sitting in your car at the drive-in, and something happened in that front seat where she got a split nose right here and her hair yanked out. Okay, irregardless, number one, it shouldn't be happening around kids. Number two, it shouldn't be happening at all. It's the golden rule. Men don't hit women. We've known it since we were tots. Okay? I don't know what happened. All I can do is go with the evidence that I see, okay? And you'll have that day in court to explain your side of the story. Daddy's okay. Daddy, you're right, okay? Put your blanket. Okay. Love you. Okay. Okay. Just, you can just stand out here. Just take your glasses off. Hold them down to the side, please. Just put your hands up. Now look up, please. Okay. Okay. Basically, you guys are pretty lucky that both of you aren't going to jail. Yeah. The only reason that he's going to jail is because you're bleeding, essentially. Okay? You have more marks than he does. Because all it is is a he said, she said, we went there, this went from the drive-in all the way down here to this concrete slab we're standing on. So, you're bleeding and he's not, just like you said. Okay? Your story is a little bit more consistent than his. Okay? And this is something that's going to be talked about in court and you guys can go from there. Any other questions? because he has he has more on him from last time it happened he hasn't even gone to court yet from that all right so. just hang tight for me let me get you a copy of your subpoena and you'll be free to go okay all right thank you man growing up in this area it's funny how many times you run into people there's actually several other officers on the department that all went to the same schools grew up in the same area all families knew each other known each other all our lives and it's kind of reassuring to see them when you see them out Got a call, reference a uh, domestic trouble, subjects fighting out in the middle of the street. Other units are en route at this time. What's going on? My old lady maced me. Your old lady ex, maced you? My ex-old lady. Okay. All right, do you need medical treatment? No, I washed my, I need some milk or something. I can't get okay. in my house. My mom went to go pick some money up. Okay. And I'm over here, right there, you know where the steps are by the court? Yes. And uh, here come all of our friends and this little mixed girl walks up to Brittany and Allie, okay, right? right? And me and Brittany and Allie standing there talking, and Mix Girl walks up, and then here comes my ex girlfriend and uh, Erica. Okay. Come walking by, and then Mix Girl goes, uh, Why y'all walk like that talking to Brittany and Allie? And then my, girl, my ex girlfriend comes walking by, and she goes like this. She walks like this. And just walks on? And, which, and then took off running with her and her little uh, stepbrother. Which way did she go? I ran in the bar. I couldn't see. I ran in the bar. I fell first, and I ran in the bar. Which way did she go? 
she lives right up here. She, they all ran up to her mom. Okay, what's and that? Is, she gonna try to sign a restraining order on me. Okay, what's the address? Uh, I don't know the address. What's her name? Uh, what's her, her mom's Terry. To what's her, her name? She, uh, damn, Kim. I'm sorry, she's 18. Okay, what's your name, partner? Michael. Michael. Basically, he was down here hanging out the corner on the steps down there. This girl, ex girl lady came by and maced him. And they she went like up this. to. Uh, up. What's the address up there on Hal or on Warren? I don't know the address. You don't know the address? See if you can see it. It should be on the uh, east side of the street. It's really just right around the corner. All right. All right. I, I need to speak to uh, Kim. Um, what on there? I was walking the house street with my brother. Okay. He's in the house and him. Okay. okay. And Mike Talk comes up behind me and yanks my hair down and pulls me down. Like, right about the Yeah, and pulls me down. Well, I get back up and I spray him with my mace or whatever. She, she said, was that her boyfriend? Yeah, he said, was, he said, that, was that, that my boyfriend? Copy. I'm out here now with it. Okay. So basically, he pulled your hair. Yeah. They've had it and domestic down. before. There's still bruises that you can see. Okay. He's saying he was just sitting down there with people on the steps and you can't walk by him and spray no. it. Yeah, right. I so, wouldn't have no reason to do she's that. Never, she's never been in trouble in her life. Okay. My friend Erica lives down that way too. So that's why I just... Yeah, he was claiming that she was with you or with her or I don't know. I don't know what all... Yeah. He's just claiming you well, were I mean, a bunch of girls. He was still on the steps and you just walked by and sprayed him. Because he was sitting there with some other girl. She's never been in trouble in her all life. Right. Check her record. All right. Hang tight for me. I'll be right back with you. All right, here's the deal. I'm getting two sides of the story, your side and their side, and they have uh, the witnesses stating what their, her side is. She's claiming that you oh came up God. behind her and knocked her to the ground, and when she got up and sprayed you and ran off. Oh, my God, they're playing me. I swear to God on everything, I did not do that to her. I put that on everything. Have you been charged with this, uh, domestic violence before? Nope. No charges along I swear to God, I did not push her down. She come around the corner and mace me. Her mom's doing this. Come out with her left hand and spray me. Okay. Because she was walking by me. And she was Where did she left. pull the mace out of? I, it was already in her hand. She was, she was walking just with her hand with behind it? her back. Okay. I didn't notice until she got up on me. She didn't have anything else she was carrying, right? Nope. Nope. No purse, no handbag, nope. no nothing? Nope. Okay. All right. Hang tight. What's your last last time I came in contact with this whole group? Yeah, I didn't get the impression that they ever cohabitated or anything right. of that nature. Okay. So there were, yeah, there's not really any assault, domestic. Yeah, assault. there's not really any domestic assault. I don't, I don't think they. If ever, anything, it might just be. He assault lives here for with his parents. Right. Yeah. She lives she there lives with there her parents, yeah, and they never cohabitated together. They don't have any children, children together. Common. Okay. Yeah. What was your impression this, on? I mean, when you were standing here talking to him, I mean, did he give the impression that? Uh, he says he doesn't want to have anything more to do with her. He said we just stand there talking, and okay. they, they came up and kind of assaulted him. So that's all he would say, really. Okay. And he got maced, and that was it. All right. All right, this is what we're going to do. How long are you guys going out? We've been going out for about nine and a half, ten months. Nine and a half, ten months? Okay. You still love her? I got love for her. I won't want her hurt. Right. I won't want her hurt, but okay. I just don't want nothing to do with her. It's not the simple fact that her, she's all bad. It's just her family. Right. Kenny, little Kenny, he gets on my nerves, man. All right. And when I'm around them all, I can, when it's just me and her, we're all right. But when we're around them all, or when she's around them, it's just all bad. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and stand up for me. The thing is, is you're young, she's young. If you still love her, you gotta learn to let her go, okay? If it's meant to be, she'll come back to you, and if not, oh, oh well, you know she's uh, armed she's, now, she's, she's so I would, uh, I would uh, watch your P's and Q's when you're messing with her, because she's got pepper spray, and that you know that stuff hurts now, and hopefully you won't have any more problems with it, okay? Have a good night, be safe. All right, Kim. You want to step down here? 
Is she going to jail? <laughs> no, ma'am. You know, I've explained to him, you're now armed with pepper spray. You can use it. You're allowed to carry it. Just go easy on it because you saw just, I don't know how much you sprayed, but I mean, it pretty much put him down. So, I mean, you're not, you're not in trouble for that. You're allowed to defend yourself when you feel threatened. The best thing for us to do right now is it's the weekend, it's your birthday, try and enjoy it and forget about all the, the drama. So, if you wanna be a, a police officer in a town that really just is incredibly unique, this is the place to be. One of my officers just stopped a young lady in a vehicle and she's a, a known prostitute. Many times they'll be driving a vehicle that belongs to their pimp and uh, they won't have a driver's license, no insurance. Nothing will be right on the vehicle, so we can act on that and deal with the prostitution by uh, handling the traffic offense. So we'll be here and see what we can get out of this. What do you got there, Officer Rosenthal? Uh, she's got, they made a bad turning movement, so I stopped them. She's got priors for prostitution and stuff. Trespassing, multiple trespasses, uh, DUI liquor, indecent exposure, battery with substantial bodily harm with a deadly weapon. Okay. Is there anybody else in the car with her? This is a black male adult in the front right seat. Did we get his ID? I did. I mean, he said he's been arrested multiple times. Just, I know he's not in our local record, so okay. he's, got, he's from California. Okay. So let's see if they got it. Let me check her right. license real quick. Okay, Hold check on. a license. Should I show you proof insurance? I asked her to get that. Miss, can you do me a favor? Can you hop out of the car real quick? Hop out of the car real quick. Keep your hands. You're not touching your phone right now. Step right up here. All right, sir, would you mind stepping out of the vehicle, please? So you don't have any weapons of contraband on you, right? Walk to the front of the vehicle, sir. So can you walk right up to the center of the vehicle? Sir, step on the other side of her, please. Thank you. Three, four drinks. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you think you can pass some field sobriety tests that we give you some? I'll try. Okay. Did you find your insurance registration? Yes. Okay. Hey, the first test we're going to give you is going to call the uh, the walk and turn test. So watch me real quick. You're going to stand with your hands at your side. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps. Okay, and when you turn, keep one foot on the ground. Go like this. It's nine more steps. Okay? Come over here. Come over here where the road's flat. Come over. You can take your heels off if you want. Nine. Go ahead. Okay, that's like 25 steps. Keep going. It's nine. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. It's very difficult. Okay, keep going. All right, miss. You didn't do that so well, but... Okay, the next test. Hands at your side. Yeah, she's out, let her go. One foot up. You might want to take your heels off. One foot up. I want you to go 1,001, 1,000. Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Yeah. Count you don't mind, sir? Would you mind if I just check you? Would you mind if I check you? I'm gonna, so do me a favor, sir. Just put your hands behind your back here. Spread your feet out for me, sir. Spread them out as much as you can. A little bit further. Okay. I just want to make sure you just don't have any weapons over here. Nine, one thousand. Don't remember one thousand. Ten, one thousand. Eleven, one thousand. Twelve, one thousand. Thirteen, one thousand. How many drinks have you had? How about three or four? Three or four drinks. You think you might be over the limit? I'm not sure what the limit is. Um, uh, obviously, I really don't. I mean, if I need to get another driver, I will. If I need to walk, if you need to park my vehicle, I will. I will. Whatever you ask me to do, I will. I see you've been drinking. Sir, have you been drinking? Yes, but I've been drinking the last maybe three or four hours. Uh, well, uh, in front of the car. Yes, sir. Right? No, in front of our car. Six, six, four, six, on the board. So you've only had one or two drinks? Yeah, but and I've been drinking red for the last three or four hours. She's definitely over the legal limit of .08. So we're going to make an arrest for uh, driving while intoxicated. Soak her up. Pull back, miss. Pull back. F. Pull back. Step back a little bit. Step back. All right, spread your legs a little bit. Okay, miss, just so you understand, miss, 
you know, you do have a, a, a previous history. You have been drinking. Uh, the reality is that you can hurt somebody out here. So this is for your safety and the safety of everyone else. You will be going to jail. However, uh, with your gentleman friend here, if it's all right with you, we'll release the vehicle to him so he won't tow your vehicle. So you won't have to, the, the cost, you won't incur the cost of having to go get it. It'll cost you about $150, so that's a break. So if it's okay with you, would that be a right to release the vehicle to yes, him? Yes, sir. You are a licensed driver. We've already determined that, sir. So it'll be good to go. Just give us a few minutes, and we'll be taking you. If you want to put her in the car, Officer Rosendahl, we'll be good to go. Okay? Just give us one moment, sir, okay? Safety, all right? mm -hmm. Officer Rosendahl, I'm putting her shoes in the front seat. Uh, just let me ask you, when's the last time you got arrested for, uh, for solicitation, you know? Um, solicitation has been at least over a year. Over a year? Are you still engaged in that or no? Are you still? No. So what were you doing tonight? Tonight I was out with my, my friend, we went to Pure, and okay. we were having a good time. We just left when you okay. rolled up on us. Okay. You're saying now that you're no longer involved with that? I mean, the reality is this, I mean, you're out and about in a strip corridor where it well, it, it I abounds. I was with my friend, okay. he and I were out to have a good time. Okay. Is this a boyfriend of yours? Or yes, it is. So how long have you been dating this gentleman? Maybe a month, maybe okay. three weeks. Okay, so you, you're most. telling me here that you're no longer engaged in that type of activity? This, this is someone who knows... Oh. Nothing about what I do for a living. Okay, okay, okay. But are you saying that's still part of what you do for a living? Um, not at this time, no. Uh, but is there a no. possibility it would recur and you might do that again? Um, if the money insists upon it. If the money insists upon it, okay. <laughs> All right, well, well, so you understand from our viewpoint, it's still it's a, it's an illegal activity and we have to do I our do. job. I and do. Okay, and you're going to jail basically just because you're a DUI. It's not because you're involved in that activity, uh, but you're up here and the reality is you're breaking the law. So we're just doing our job, okay? You understand uh, me? All right. All right, miss. Thank you. I've been uh, working for Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for the past six years, and uh, it's really been a great experience for me. I love living in Las Vegas, the bright lights in the big city. It's a city of big winners and sometimes even bigger losers, which is what the towns were built on. So we try to keep an eye on people, try to stop some folks, find out what they're all about. A lot of people involved in street crime here. I saw an individual who was kind of lurking in the shadows in an area that's known for uh, high prostitution. So see what her story is and what she's doing hanging out here in the area. It's like she's going to try to get in the car with this guy here. So I can put the spotlight on him. Let's go to 43, cut 468. Hi, I saw you on the other side there and it looked like, oh, it looked like you're kind of trying to avoid me and you cut back through the other side. So you guys are together? You guys are together? Well, I was just driving her home. Is okay. That, is that against the law? No, it's not against the law. Okay, I didn't think so. Vaughn, I have no idea where you're coming from. I was on the other side. I saw you. I went through this side. You turned around and kind of slipped back through this side. I just wanted to see what you're, you know, what you're all about. You understand this area and what it's all about over here, correct? I actually waited a couple of minutes. I was waiting on him. I did not get away just because he drove by. Okay. Well, how do I know that? Did it look pretty bad from my point of view? Probably, right? Okay. Have you ever been cited or arrested before in your life? Yeah. For what, ma'am? Um, the last time for um, soliciting me was about in December. I'm being honest with you. Okay. Before that, um, so you're arrested for soliciting prostitution? Only once. And before that, it was domestic violence because you know, we didn't court Okay. And those are the only those are the only two times you've been arrested for. Okay. Do you happen to have anything illegal on your person at all? In your purse, anything like that? You mind if I take a look? Okay. First of all, just go ahead and put this right up here. Take that off. Anything on your person that we need to be concerned about? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, right over here. Put your water up here for me. If you don't mind, I'd like to pat you down for weapons. After that, I'm going to look in your purse, make certain that you... Don't, don't touch yourself. Just right here like this. All right, step over here, spread your feet apart, please. Okay. Inside your bag, is this your ID in here? No, I need my number. My name okay, do you don't have any ID in here? Okay, is, is there anything in here that I need to be worried about? Anything that's going to stick me, poke me, hurt me? No. Okay. And there's no identification in here, ma'am, whatsoever? No, but I'll give you all, all day. Please. Okay, what are these pills that are in here? Um, sinus pills. Okay, looks like they're inside some sort of packaging. What's all this stuff inside here, ma'am? Huh? There's a what? There's a crystal meth pipe in there? Okay. That's kind of what it looked like for based on the packaging. And that is yours, of course, right? And that is yours, of course, right? Okay. 
What I may have you do here is put your hands behind your back. Give me the handcuffs here for, for, for a moment, okay? Before I pulled up here, is there anything on the ground I that you dump? dumped? Is there anything else inside that purse that you gave me permission to look in, with nothing. the exception of that pipe that I need to be worried about? Do you have a nothing little bit else. of meth in there at all? No. Are nothing you sure? Really Not in a baggie, no. anything like that? Nope. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish looking through here real quick. Everything I should be just make up. No. Okay. And this is your pipe, correct? Correct. Okay. So now you have a little bit of understa better understanding as to why I'm stopping folks out here, okay? Because there's a lot of drug activity that goes on, all right? People that use drugs have to buy drugs, okay? And where they buy them, a lot of times is over here. Okay. You say lotion, condoms, and petroleum jelly? Everything you can think of. Everything I can think of. Some of these things, uh, looks like you got your razor here. It looks like a shaving kit almost, huh? All right. Put your smoke away, sir. I just wanted to just talk to you for a second about the individual you're out over here hanging out with. What, what was, what's your relationship with that person? Well, basically, there's no relationship at all, sir. Okay. Um, I was in the bar, had a couple drinks. I come here often. Uh -huh. You know, I come here because the drinks are cheap. Right. Understand. Um, when I came out, I had no idea that you guys were going to stop us. Okay. Now this person came up to me. We were talking. They asked for a ride. I said, no problem. Okay. All How right. far are you going? Because I have a ways to drive. Sure. And well, you look like you just got off work. So actually, I did. And yeah. I'm very tired. <laughs> I believe it. So, pretty much, you know, like I said. It's, it's more of a thing where trying to be a nice guy, sometimes you get caught up in, in crap. I've seen it a thousand times. I know what you're talking about. But I had no idea that this person, for one, was a guy. Okay. You know, or perhaps I had too many drinks and I don't know the difference. Okay. All right. Fair okay. enough. Also, I had no idea that this person had anything illegal on their person. Okay. Otherwise, you know... If I had cuffs, I would have actually put them under arrest myself. Hey, I hear what you're saying. You know, it's fair enough. You're in a bar having some drinks, you know. You come out, someone asks you for a ride. Fair enough, you know. And, and we stop her because of all the activity that we've got going on over here and whatnot. And it uh, turns out that she did happen to have methamphetamine pipe. So, you know, I, I really had no idea. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Okay. So you're just basically just going to get on your way out of here and go home? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. As you well know, this is an area of high, high narcotics and prostitution, yes. right? And you know that, okay? So I like to talk to people and find out what they're all about, you know? And today we found out that you happen to have a warrant for soliciting for prostitution. Yeah. And you the only time I've been a for that also. Okay, that's fine. And uh, you also happen to have the methamphetamine pipe that was on your right. person. It's got the residue all over it. Right. Are you trying to get off the drugs? You know what? I'll be completely, completely honest with you. Um, in all honesty, I don't think I'm ready to give it up. And also, 95% of the people that I know or hang out with yes. are in it as well. So it would have to be, be such a drastic change for me. You know, like breaking off ties with friendships, at least long enough, you know, while I'm trying to stay clean. Right, right, so right. for now, I don't think it's a possible thing. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just trying to encourage you to do that. Well, get the paperwork taken care of, and the transport unit should be here shortly. So just try to keep cool here for a second, will you? Okay. Okay. Looks like we got a little bit more to the story than we initially started off with. I think both of them know exactly what's going on. But right now we've got the solicitation warrant that's on her as well as the narcotics paraphernalia charge that needs to be dealt with. I'm going to finish up the paperwork and prison transport unit will be here to take her on to jail. Every day I deal with the same people. Got a lot of the same faces I see day in, day out. Get a lot of cooperation out of a lot of them. Usually the ones I don't get cooperation out of, they're doing stuff that they know is wrong and I'm busting them on it. Got a white female. She just came out of one of our little crack houses. A lot of prostitutions going on in the back alley. Let's see what's going on. Find out what she's doing out here. Misty, come here. All the way around front of the park. Where are you living at? I was living in Graysville with my mother. We got into it and I came down here. What else you been arrested for? I have been arrested a long time ago for prostitution. You on probation? I go tomorrow. Which house were you on 13th Street? The blue one. Oh, the prostitute house. The one where they sit outside. And prostitute and sell crack. How old are you? 21. You been out here three days? You've been out here three days and you've already found two of my hottest spots. Foul Street for crack and cocaine, something you smoke, 
and 13th Street for prostitution, something you've been arrested for. I'm going to tell it to you like this. You got kids? Yes. How many kids you got? Two. How old are they? Three and one month. Why are you out here selling yourself instead of doing the motherly thing? It's a hard question to accept responsibility, isn't it? Have you ever dealt with her before? She's from Grace. Well, she's saying she's only been down here three days. She's already living on Fowl Street, and she just come out of oh, East 13th. You're not going to be prostituting down here. I can call my sister. Well, then you need to get to a payphone. You need to call your sister, and you need to get out of here. Because down here is nothing but bad for you. All right? Go do something about yourself. Sad situation she's in, but I don't know, she's 21. She's still got time. Maybe she'll learn her lesson. Williams just backed me up, getting out with a uh, prostitute out here in the area. It's been a busy night, rained earlier, so business is starting to pick up now that it's dried off. It's getting hot out here. People are starting to come out and play around. Williams about to pull this car over get out and see what his story is. 2100, I know that ain't my girl up there. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, right step, right step, right step, step out. Step out. Step out. Step out. Step. Roll around. Just put your stuff down. Put your stuff down. All I need your ID. All I need your ID. My car from. Just step over here to my car. Who's just dropping off? Take your hands out of your pocket. Get your hands. Man. Put your hands on my car. As a matter of fact, step around to the rear of my car. Put your cigarette out. Oh, man. I know him. I was asking him to run to the store. He said, go to the store. Please don't do this. I wasn't present to me. Please don't. Close I was. Put your headphones together. Okay. I promise you, I didn't know. Listen to me. I just got finished talking to her. She just told me she's a prostitute. Why was she in the car? And don't tell me she was going to the store because that's what they all say. Why was she in your car? What did y'all talk about? We didn't talk about nothing. She just asked me to drop her off to the store. I just picked her up. Have you ever been arrested before? Yes, sir. What for? For... That DUI. What else? And speed. He's got a restricted driver's license. He's revoked right now for DUI. He's got a marijuana joint he's been smoking in this car in the floorboard. Isn't that right? Yeah, that was earlier. Let me ask you something. Who stopped who? I was just going down the street and, okay. and she said, hey, hey, hey. Okay. And that's when I stopped and, and, and went to take her to the store. Hang top. So what's your story? He stopped me. He asked me if I was doing anything. I was like, no, you sent me to the store. What do you mean, was you doing anything? I guess if I was working or something. He oh, asked, okay. He asked so me if I, I just was warned working. you. I, so I just warned you about this stuff down here. And then you get stopped. And he propositions you, basically. And you still get in the car. I was already in the car. I asked him for a ride to the store. No talk of favors, no nothing. No. He said, are you sure? And I said, I'm sure. Just drop me off at the store. All right, whatever. It's going to be up to this other officer. You are revoked for DUI. And that is, by law, an arrest. Just hang tight right there. Figure out what he's going to do. I'm out here every day, okay? I've met you one time. And probably 45 seconds later, I seen you in a car that drove by. So that I'll tell you that I'm going to remember you, okay? All right, I know what you're doing. Okay, this is your one break. Jail. Yes, sir. Okay? I don't want to see you around here, okay? Look at me. You understand? Yes, sir. I don't want you to take my kindness for weakness, okay? Yes, sir. But I'm not afraid to put you in jail. I know. Here, go.
All right, you go in jail for driving on revoke for possession of marijuana. All right. Yes, sir. We're going to let the prostitution bit go. You're not going to lose the car, so you're getting break tonight. Appreciate it. This is not what I had in mind. It's never what they had in mind. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. I've had uh, numerous search warrants served on the on the premises to uh, because of the use and sale of narcotics. Okay, I see a car in the driveway, and uh, there's a white male driver. See what's going on since he's over here at the, one of our fine upstanding citizens' homes that's known to sell narcotics. The uh, driver just tossed a cigarette, a lit cigarette out of his driver's side window, and we're in a severe drought, so I'm going to go ahead and initiate a traffic stop on the vehicle as soon as we get to a more lit area. 242. 1050. Lake and Clear Lake. Okay, the vehicle stopped inside this parking lot of this business, so let's see what's going on. Okay. Florida Uniform 07, gray, four door Dodge, one I've been. So he's trying to get in the store, probably. Now to dump his dope. What's going on, man? In case you didn't know, we got a fire drought going on right here right now. When you flick your cigarette butt out the window, that's the reason we get forest fires. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just moved back into town uh, on Tuesday. Where are you living at? I'm living, well, I'm living with my mother. My, this is my mailing address. It's my wife's address. We're separated. Go to the strip right here. It's illegal. Is it? Yes, sir. There's a little mark right here. It's called the ASI line right there. Oh, okay. Anything below that? So Sit tight for me. All right. What do you got? Well, he's coming out of the drug area. I was following him down in through a, a lane, and he I got behind him, so he pulls in the driveway and blacks out. So I see him again after I come out of the budget in, and he, he turns this way. He's coming down Lake Drive, and he flicks a, a cigarette out the window. He's got an illegal window tent strip on the front of the car. And while I'm talking to him, his hands are just going like this. So that more than likely, he's got cocaine or something on him. Nathan, step back here. Step back here for me, boss. Okay, let me explain to you what I'm doing. Okay, this is a written warning. This only documents the reason I stopped you, when I stopped you, where I stopped you. There's okay. no points, no fine. You understand? See this. Is there anything illegal in the car I need to know about or on your person? No. Okay. okay. There's all your information. Okay. So. You said there's nothing illegal on you or your person, correct? Okay. You mind if I check? No. Okay. Open your mouth for me. Spit the dope out. Spit it out right now. Spit it out. <coughs> Spit it out. Okay. It's out. You're it's under out. arrest. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Spit it out. 42. I got a white male 1015. It's on the ground right there. Right, sir, up here in my waistband, in the front. Where's the rest of it? Uh, Probably stepping on it. Uh, let me turn around. Yes, sir. Anything else in the car? No, sir. No, he, he ate it. Mom, we're going to the car. There's more than one piece, I know that. Watch that going in. Here's this piece of crack cocaine right there. 890. 890. This is what the American Red Cross. I'm searching a car incident to arrest, looking for more narcotics. And I believe we may have some more right here. Yeah, it's right here on the floor. That right there. Three fifteen. I'll be ten ten to see you from. Seven 
Okay. I'm on a ranch road. What's the deal, man? How long you been hooked on the crack? About eight or ten months. Eight or ten months? Yeah. Okay. So you've been on it for eight months, right? Yes. What what's the deal, man? What are you stupid or something? Trying to put it in your mouth and eat it, you know, it'll kill you. Almost did last week. You know what they put in that stuff? Everything under the sink, man, and I mean that literally. Everything under the sink. You're still a young guy, man. Why don't you straighten out? I mean, you, you know, what's up? You you got problems at home? You said you just moved back. I, I, I won't stop. Man. Well, I'm going to tell you this, okay? Get your mind right. You're young. Get some help. I don't like dope. That's the one thing I don't like, and I don't like when people try to hide it and eat it on me. That makes me angry, in case you didn't figure that out. Okay? So this is this is your one shot at getting straight, okay? If you don't get straight now, you'll never get straight. And you'll be back in and out the system for the rest of your life. So right now you're on your way to the county jail. You got a thousand dollar bond. Your car's been towed. And uh good luck. You look at the crack pipe here, he took an ink pen because it's still got the, the grip on it so he doesn't have to burn his fingers or his lips. And that's what he's smoking his crack through is an ink pen but you know what are you going to do it looks like to me he'd prefer to eat it than smoke it another guy on dope another guy up the street we're going to head on over down here to the uh mobile home park this time at night we have a lot of drug activity over there a lot of stolen vehicles a lot of people like to hang out and, uh usually up to no good we got a uh white cadillac over here that's definitely trying to avoid me has no tag light we're gonna go see why he's trying to duck into these streets Happy. draws us registration insurance why are you pulling me over you have no tag light You don't have a driver's license? Yeah, I have a driver's license. There's no registration too? Hmm? Yeah. How much you had to drink tonight? I haven't had nothing to drink. That's tea, iced tea. Tony, you ever been arrested? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. For what? Well, 1351 yeah. to him. That's not my I was accused of having cocaine. The girl was with me at it. All right, hang tight for me. All right, Tony? This is, uh, this is Tony. Um, he, uh, he got... He got arrested not too long ago. Um, yeah, 41 zero in the end. No, he, he got pinched for a large amount of drugs. They, we seized his, uh, his vehicle and everything. So he's, he definitely, he don't like law enforcement. Um, it, but I'm gonna see what's up with him. I'm cool. gonna get him out of the car. That's cool. Um, Tony, come here. Do me a favor, just put your hands on your head real quick, turn around. All right, you don't have nothing on you, right? Oh. What, what's in the cup, Tony, in the center uh, console? Ice tea. Is that Sweet tea? Sweet tea, it's got no alcohol at all. Tony, do me a favor, just put out your cigarette real quick. When I'm when I'm finished with you, you could... <clears throat> what's the okay. problem, man? What have I done, you know? I told you what you did. You didn't have nothing to drink tonight? No, I don't drink. No. None at all? Nothing. You're not under the influence of anything? No. You doing any narcotics tonight? No. Nope. You have anything in your car, Tony? You mind if I take a look? Yes, I do. You do? What? Well, you have no right to search my car. I'm, I'm asking you. Do that. Yeah, I have to. Okay. Well, but that's your why, though. What's the, for a tail light? Come on. Tag light. Every time. Every time. Hang tight for me, all right? You know what I'm saying, you know? what it is. Every time. Um, he has an extensive pass of narcotics. He likes to possess pretty pretty large quantities of narcotics. His his vehicle got seized from us not too long ago for possession of narcotics. So he said he has nothing on him, nothing in his vehicle. 
He's getting a citation for having no tag light on his vehicle. What's this pipe right here? The step? Why don't you turn around and put your hands in the back? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Because now we're going to search your car, okay? Put your hands behind your back for me. He's got a stem in here. He asked me to get a cigarette out of his car for him and uh, give him consent to look at the box. Anything right, else relax, in this box Tony. other than this stem? Nothing? Do you have anything else in the car, Tony? Seriously. Huh? Yes, I have some in the car. What is it? A cigarette bag under the seat. Alright, do me a favor, come here. Have a seat, Tony. Okay. It's like a blue pill, about 30 rocks crack. We got a bunch of crack rocks right over here.